Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing your July 2022 love reading, Scorpio. So if you're here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, Scorpio. I just, I'm going to pull from four different decks for you, um, for the energy in your, um, in your love life for July, 2022. Then we're going to pull a few cards from the tarot and then we will end with a few oracle messages so let's jump into it if you are here and this is your first time here i thank you for coming if you're coming in for the love reading please go and check out your career and finance reading for july that is posted as well i did separate the two readings so that the readings wouldn't be so long, guys. I know you guys have stuff to do. You don't have all night to be sitting here watching me. <laughs> so if you don't have time tonight, come back and watch it another day. Scorpio love. All right, Scorpio, let's see. actually going to sit on this side all right let's see we have true love romantic feelings and healing family issues true love this is the romance of a lifetime romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and healing family issues all right so some of you may have some abandonment issues or neglect issues from childhood, um, maybe even abuse that you may need to deal with here in order um, to move towards a, a stable relationship because sometimes those issues can prevent us from being able to grow towards a healthy relationship because we develop these behaviors, these negative behaviors that don't serve us. This is giving me codependent energy, but I feel like Scorpio, you are, um, you're in love. Someone is in love here or someone will be in love. Someone has love coming towards them or you are currently in love. On the bottom of the deck, we have it is safe for you to love. I feel like this is new love, but we'll see. For some of you, it's past. I just saw past life relationship that can indicate that this could also be a soulmate, but it's too early to tell what's going on here. So let's keep rolling. Scorpio, July, give me that energy. July 2022. Clear and concise messages for Scorpio. Clear and concise messages for Scorpio, please. We have passion. Try something you've never done before. All right, so you're very attracted to someone here. Scorpio's falling in love. Fate. That's that past life relationship we saw on the bottom of the deck. Messages for Scorpio. Vulnerability. Uh-oh. Scorpio is afraid. Scorpio, it looks like you're afraid to open up to this person, but this looks like it's a faded relationship so far. And you have a decision to make. You're going to be making a decision in July about this relationship. But it looks like this person is somebody that you can talk to. It looks like this is somebody that you can trust. This is somebody that you can trust, guys. This is someone that you can be goofy around. You can be yourself. You don't have to front for this person. Messages for Scorpio for July 2022 spirit. Messages for Scorpio, please. For July. Messages. All 
I feel the need to take all of these. The bottom of the deck, we have sword and rose. This is about wanting to be clear, right? Wanting to be clear about my intentions, my expectations from the beginning because I refuse to allow my heart to be hurt. This is you trying to protect your heart, guys. This is you trying to protect your heart. This is also about a revelation. I think the revelation is that you are falling in love here or that you have fallen in love. We do have the Phoenix card here. This is about a new beginning after a hard relationship where you've had to just recreate your entire way that you believe, which I'm sorry, you had to recreate the entire way that you think about things. This is, you know, changing your mind, seeing things clearly because now you're more mature, you've been through it and you know, you're, you're able to make better decisions here. This is starting over new phase. For some of you, this is going to be the rekindling of the past relationship. I have Cupid's arrow. Remember, guys, this is a general reading. I'm feeling both energies. Somebody's wanting to go back to an ex and somebody is um, having a great time right now, falling in love or this love is coming in because, you know, with Cupid's arrow, you didn't see it coming. So either you guys weren't expecting this person to come in or you're still not expecting this person to come in. But this is a surprise invitation. This could be someone, maybe a secret admirer, coming in to tell you that they would like to go on a date with you. But this is about being struck by love. We have the mask card coming out. I feel like it's here. I don't think that this is anything bad. I think the mask card is here because I don't think that you are being honest about your feelings, Scorpio. I think that you are hiding your true feelings. For those of you that are thinking about going back to a codependent relationship, I'm, I, I strongly feel like it's possible that you guys may have been dealing with a narcissist here and this person is watching your every move and I feel like you can't quite get away from this person. If this is new love, I feel like this is someone coming in on this ship and this is someone who is watching you, a secret admirer. I'm getting both energies here, guys. All right, Scorpio. July 2022 for Scorpio. All right, give me that energy spirit. July 2022 for Scorpio. I know you lying. Go ahead, Scorpio. You have divine union, guys. Divine union. That's the same energy of that fate card. They gave us four messages. You have divine union. It says, congratulations, it's time to celebrate. Both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. Divine union. And guys, if I stutter on these words, it's because the words are in yellow and they are hard to see. I have clarity. That's that perception. Spirit's asking you to get clear. Someone finally sees the answers that the answer that was always right in front of their eyes. The vision is clear. Therefore, what is to come shall be clear too. I think this is you realizing that you are in love. And if again, if this is you going back to an, um, a past person, maybe you found out the truth that you were looking for and you're able to move forward with them. I have devotion. A dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal. I love this person's energy. This is someone, again, that you can trust, you can be open with. They're devoted. They're not going to cheat. This is someone who is in it for the long haul. They are serious about commitment. They're not playing games. And I have sweet song. This could be someone who enjoys music. You guys may share that same commonality. It says soulmates often use music and songs as a telepathic aid in order to share spiritual messages between the two of the between the two of you. So you guys could um, communicate through music. You guys could enjoy some of the same music. You could also be sending each other certain songs over text messages. You know, as a message to say what you can't quite say yourself. 
On the bottom of the deck, we have deeper intimacy. This is moving things to the next level. I feel like that's what you have going on in July. The feelings of emotional closeness and love allow you to feel safe, desired, and more connected to your partner. All right, and I see butterflies. That lets me know, again, that's new energy. That's you being excited and nervous about going on a date with someone. But I see you spending time together. I see you guys getting to know each other. And I do see, again, falling in love. If this is, again, about a past relationship, I feel like your person still does it for you. And it looks like you guys may be giving it a chance. Maybe your person has come in and said, you know what? I'm going to do right this time. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you anymore. I, I, you know, I did wrong. And maybe they're going to do right this time. We'll see what comes out in the tarot. All right, Scorpio, let's get, let's get your person's energy first, Scorpio. All right. Scorpio, mm, what is this card wanted to come out? The Knight of Cups. All right. And I see a King of Pentacles. Mm. You, so you have someone who is coming in that is loving. This is someone who is very romantic. This is someone who is very intuitive. So they will be able to pick up on certain needs that you have, Scorpio, without you even having to tell them. Because, you know, they're very tied to their intuition. They have feelings. And they're also, again, they're about their commitment. And it looks like they're about their money. We'll see what comes out. Scorpio's person. What's the, their energy for June 2022? How are they feeling about Scorpio? How do they feel about the relationship? And what are they going to do next? All right, Scorpio, let's see. They're no longer confused. We have the Seven of Cups. They're not confused. They know they want you. They don't want anybody else. Everybody else that they've been dealing with does not make them happy. The people they have been dealing with, they haven't been given to this person in a way that you're going to give to them, Scorpio. <laughs> and your energy has hit the board with this Six of Cups. We do also have Pisces energy here. Well, actually, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We just have the Queen of Cups hit the board. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. We have the Queen of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The Ace of Wands. The Hangman. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. The Ace of Cups in reverse. And Judgment. Excuse me, y'all. Let me get some water. This incense has gotten in my throat. All right, let's see if I can make it. All right, so it looks like, again, this person, this person is not happy with the people that they have been interacting with. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Dang. Somebody don't want me to speak. One more time, y'all. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> Again, they're not happy with who they have been dating. They have been through a lot of hard relationships as well. I ain't going to make it through this reading, y'all. Jeez. But they see you as someone that they can fall in love with here. But it looks like they're going to have their guards up a little bit. <clears throat> and don't we all from our past? Y'all just going to have to stick this out. I don't know what's going on. 
there is some Scorpio in here who is not speaking their truth and is truly taking my voice away. I've just gotten like probably 20 degrees hotter. I feel like I'm choking. And it just came out of nowhere. <clears throat> Whoever the Scorpio is, please speak your truth so I can talk back normal again. <laughs> please speak your truth. Be, be real about how you feel. All right. Again, if you have not met this person, when this person comes in, please be real with them. Don't hold back. <clears throat> be honest. Be vulnerable, guys. Open up. Wow, y'all. I thought I was getting ready to leave. You hear me? All right. Let's get back into it. So again, they're going to have, I, I actually, I don't think they're going to have their walls up. I think this is you. Let me clarify this seven of wands. <laughs> that's you, Scorpio. You're going to have your walls up. And that's again from your past because of your past. But this person is showing up as the king of pentacles, guys. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this is someone who is really here for the long haul, okay? This is someone that you can count on. This is a stable commitment here. No games, no games. Again, here's this passion with this Ace of Wands. This person is gonna be very attracted to you and they're gonna be very motivated to make you happy and to spend time with you and to take you out on dates here. All right, so judgment is here in the upright, guys. This person is going to decide to approach you or to talk to you in some type of way here. But I feel like this is someone that you know with this hangman being here. I feel like this could be someone that you know that mask card could be here also because maybe they're holding back their, really, their true feelings for you. And they have this Knight of Cups coming up in the reverse. Maybe this person hasn't revealed their love to you. Uh-oh, the three of cups just fell on the floor. This could be a friend, guys. This could be someone that you have friend zone because it did fall in the reverse. Why is this here? Three of pentacles. This is a friend or this could be someone that you work with, guys. And I have the sun, but it's in the reverse. But it's always a good thing to get the sun here. That just means that this person is not quite sure how they're going to approach you. They're trying to figure out a plan here with this Knight of Swords. They're trying to figure out and they are working on um, asking you out or moving the relationship to the next level with both of the threes coming out here. You guys, thank you for your patience. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know what it was. My body temperature is coming back down now. Wow. That's the first time that this has happened on any of my readings. So thank you, Scorpio, for that gift. <laughs> I thank you and this person. I really like this person. This person better be glad that I like them because I was just about to have to end this reading. It got real for a minute. All right. Let's find out your energy, Scorpio, for July 2022. What is Scorpio's energy for July 2022? How is Scorpio feeling? How will they feel about this relationship and what are their next moves and again for those of you who are thinking about reconciling maybe your person is going to show up this time it with the knight of swords being here this person is coming in saying you know i do i do want to do things differently here maybe this person will graduate from the knight of swords to the king of pentacles maybe they are growing up or have grown up How's Scorpio feeling about this relationship, this person, and what do they plan to do next, Spirit? I just saw the Four of Swords, so you're thinking about it. You're contemplating it, and you've been healing. I have the High Priestess. Spirit is helping with this, guys. 
And you're going to know when this person comes in, you're going to know. You're going to know this who this person is. Again, I feel like you know this person. I have a King of Swords showing up here. Air sign energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. That page of pentacles flipped sideways, but I'm going to take it in the upright. That indicates that that person is wanting to come in and commit to you, but maybe they've been holding back for whatever reason. But you know who this person is. You're going to know because this is going to be someone that like you've never met before. This is going to be someone who actually you can have a conversation with. This is going to be someone that communicates well. This is someone who's going to be open to hearing your ideas, open to compromising at times. This is someone who makes a good decision. They make good decisions. People look up to this person. This is fire sign. This is Aries energy. We have the fool in reverse. You have this wonderful person, Scorpio, and you're going to be hesitating here. You're going to be afraid to take a risk because you're going to be afraid that this person isn't going to be able to make you happy. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Spirit is saying, leave the past in the past. It's time for you to not be confused anymore. And it's time for you to release stress, anxiety, and worry with this nine of swords. They're telling you you need to leave that energy. This emperor is here. This is someone you can count on here. And you have the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is you kind of fighting commitment. This is you saying, you know, I'm fine all by myself. You know, I can take care of myself, all of that. But it looks like there are some self-confidence issues here. There is some self-love issues here. There is a need for you to recognize your worth and your value, Scorpio. But it looks like to me that you may give this person a chance with this uh, King of Swords being here. But we're going to go in and clarify. Why is this King of Swords here for Scorpio? Uh-oh, the world in reverse. Why is the King of Swords here? We have the Page of Swords in reverse. This could be your, your ex. Yep, Six of Pentacles. That's you finding clarity. That's why you had the Sword and Rose. And as I lifted up Sword and Rose, you now have Coffee Cup. Coffee Cup talks about meeting and talking with someone. Building a friendship, new, meeting for coffee, new dates. And again, if this is a past relationship, this person's coming in the right way this time. They realize that they've lied in the past, things didn't work out, but they're ready to come in and be truthful and honest this time around. The question here, Scorpio, in July, are you going to accept this page of Pentacles offer? That's the question. Are you going to accept this Page of Pentacles offer? <laughs> Looks like you're moving past confusion. You're, you're tired of being unhappy and you're ready for something different, Scorpio. What's the possible outcome between Scorpio and this new energy? What's the possible outcome? All right, hangman in reverse. That's what I want to see. The emperor just shot, empress just shot out. Beautiful new beginning, guys. The birth of something new here. This person is going to look at you as their wish fulfillment. They're looking at you as all four queens, emotionally stable, financially stable. You make good decisions, you take the right actions, and, and, and you know you're smart. I have the ten of wands. They're finally going to be able to, both of you are going to finally be able to move past burden. You know, star. Guys, wish fulfillment. Just have faith, guys. This is your dreams come true. Here's this four swords energy again. You're going to continue to think about this person because it's going to seem too good to be true, guys. It's going to seem too good to be true. Five of cups. Don't get stuck in that past energy. Don't get stuck. Make sure that you're healed from your past, guys. Move on. 
move on, accept things the way that they are. I have the five of wands. You're going to be internally conflicted about this. Uh-oh, look at you, afraid of commitment. Queen of Pentacles, the, the King of Pentacles showed up. This is a true match situation, guys. This is someone that you were meant to meet. You signed up for this person before you incarnated. And we have the Six of Cups. This is going to be a wonderful opportunity for a long-lasting relationship. Equal give and take, guys. Six of Cups, balance, harmony. And you're going to fight it a little bit. You're not going to think that the offer is stable, but it's here. It's in the reverse, so that's only because of your perception. You guys have the Ace of Pentacles here. This is an opportunity, again, a stable offer you can rely on. All right, Scorpio, what you going to do? Are you going to do or are you going to mildew? That's been your reading for July 2022. All right, Scorpio, I have to go get myself together. I am feeling out of breath. Um, I'm feeling really winded. I have a lot of pressure in my heart. So for all you Scorpios out there who are carrying this heavy burden of this Ten of Wands and this sadness of this Five of Cups, and you're still kind of sitting in that energy of trying to heal from the past, please release that from your heart. It's not healthy for you. It's not going to get you the ending that you're looking for. It's not going to be beneficial to you in any way. And again, for those of you who are looking to be with a past person, if you're going back to an ex or you're wanting to try again with someone here, I do see it possibly working out this time around. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful week. Go ahead and check out your career and finance reading, and I will catch you right here on your for your next read. Have a good night.